Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a system of two equations as you can see over here. x times square root of y plus y times square root of x equals to 182. And the second equation is x times square root of x plus y times square root of y equals to 183. And now we are going to find x plus y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And now let's go ahead and add these two equations. If we add this term and this term we can write uh, this one as uh, x times square root of y plus uh, x times uh, square root of uh, x. Now let's go ahead and add these two terms as well. So let me go ahead and write down these one y times square root of x plus uh, y times uh, square root of uh, y equals to now let's go ahead and add these two numbers on the right hand side. If we add them, we are going to get 365. And now let's focus on these first two terms. We can see that x could be factored out. So let's go ahead and factor out x outside. And in the parentheses, I can write square root of x plus square root of y. And now let's focus on these two terms over here. We can see that y can be easily factored out. So we can write y outside and inside the parentheses I can write square root of x plus square root of y equals to 365. And now we can see over here this square root of x plus square root of y and over here square root of x plus square root of y they are in common so we can easily factor them out as well. So we can write square root of x plus square root of y and then times that's going to give us x plus y equals to 365 and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number three and here's our next step let's recall cubic identity and here's our cubic identity a plus b power three now let's assume that a equals to square root of x and b equals to square root of y then we can write this one as a square root of x plus a square root of y whole power 3 equals to a in our case is square root of x so i can write a square root of x whole power 3 plus 3 times a square root of x whole square times a square root of y. Now let's go ahead and tweak this term. We can write this one as a square root of x whole square times square root of x and likewise we can write this one as a square root of y whole square times square root of y. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of this uh, equation. Let's simplify so we can write square root of x whole square times square root of x plus uh, here we see square and square root they undo each other so we got simply plus 3x times square root of y plus here we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we got simply 3y times square root of x plus finally this one could be written as square root of y 
whole square times square root of y and simplify them further more so this square and square root they undo each other so we got x times square root of x plus over here between these two terms we can see that 3 is in common we can factor out 3 and then inside this bracket is going to be square x times square root of y plus y times square root of x and then plus finally this square and square root they undo each other so we got y times square root of y now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms i'm going to put these two terms together now let's focus on these first two terms we can see that this is same as 183 in equation 2 so therefore i am going to replace it by 183 and next let's focus on this part inside the bracket this is same as this one very first equation which is equal to 182 so i am going to replace this one by 182 so therefore we can write this thing as 183 plus 3 times 182 so if we simplify this thing this turns out to be a 729 on the right hand side now let's focus on this 729 on the right hand side and here I have copied it down and this could be written as 9 times 9 times 9 which is equal to 9 power 3. So therefore I am going to replace this 729 by 9 power 3. So therefore we can write this equation as and now we can see that our exponents are same which is power 3. So therefore we can equate their bases. I can write square root of x plus square root of y equals to 9. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 4. So thus we are ended up with these equation 3 and 4. And here's our final step. Let's focus on now our this equation 3. And here I have copied it down. And now we can see that this square root of x plus square root of y is equal to 9 from this equation 4. We go ahead and replace this one by 9 and then times x plus y equal to 365. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 9. This 9 and 9 is gone. So we ended up with x plus y equal to 365 divided by 9 and that's what we were looking for so thus our x plus y value turns out to be a 365 divided by 9 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye